Internal Revenue Service IRS tax news. IRS Hurricane Fiona victims in Puerto Rico qualify for tax relief. October 17th deadline, other dates extended to February 15th. Honestly, the IRS is always looking out for those taxes, giving tax relief. What about the people, IRS? Can we get some people relief? Anyways, first an attempt at a joke. I once had a rule of thumb. Basically, the rule of thumb here is if you wait, rule of thumb? But recently decided to no longer follow my thumb. In the early 1900s, it was legal for men to beat their wives as long as they used a stick no wider than their thumb. Because these days, I'm in control of my thumb, not the other way around. Can't do much damage with that, then, can we? Perhaps it should have been a rule of wrist. So I no longer have rules of thumb, but rather am now the thumb ruler. The ruler of thumbs? Yes, I have slain the beast and am now the rightful ruler of this kingdom. My crown? At least, I feel like I'm the ruler of my right thumb. The left thumb doesn't always listen. I think I may have to send the rock over to teach that thumb a lesson. How come you didn't break this guy's thumb like I told you? How do you know I didn't break it? You don't think I hear things? Did I give you a job this morning or I didn't? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. So why didn't you break his thumb like I told you to? I don't want to hear it, Thumb. I'm in control here, and we're moving forward. Slow! Yes, we're gonna have to go right to ludicrous speed. <gasps> ludicrous speed? Ludicrous speed! Sir, how you better buckle up? Ah, uh, buckle this! Ludicrous speed! Go! Whatever, Thumb. Stop this thing! We can't stop. It's too dangerous. <laughs> Well, maybe next time, I'll take the rule of thumb under advisement. Are you all right, sir? Fine. How have you been? Fine, sir. Good. But I'm still in charge. I'm still in charge here. I mean- It's a good thing you were wearing that helmet. Yeah. What should we do now, sir? Well, are we stopped? We're stopped, sir. Good. Possibly moving forward, I'll take the advice of thumb. I'll take the advice of thumb. Thumb advice is often correct, it turns out. Why don't we take a five minute break? Very good, sir. Smoke if you got him. IR 2022 161, September 20th, 2022, Washington. Hurricane Fiona victims in all 78 Puerto Rican municipalities now have until February 15, 2023 to file various federal, individual, and business tax returns and make tax payments. The Internal Revenue Service announced today the IRS is offering relief to any area designated by the Federal Emergency Management Agency, otherwise known as FEMA. There's a link to FEMA here. This means that individuals and households that reside or have a business anywhere in the Commonwealth of Puerto Rico qualify for tax relief. The current list of eligible localities is always available on the disaster relief page on irs.gov. There's a link to that here. The tax relief postpones various tax filing and payment deadlines that occurred starting on September 17, 2022. As a result of affected individuals and businesses will have until February 15, 2023 to file returns and pay any taxes that were originally due during this period. This means individuals who had a valid extension to file their 2021 return due to run out on October 17, 2022. So if you were on extension, basically the deadline was October 17th, 2022. We'll now have until February 15th, 2023 to file. The IRS noted, however, that because tax payments related to these 2021 returns were due on April 18th, 2022, those payments are not eligible for this relief. So in other words, note, even though you went on extension, and you might have an extension of the filing time frame, but there's a difference between that and when you have to pay. So you don't typically have an extension to pay. So you might have a further extension to file, but you still need to pay in order to be uh, reducing the penalties and interest that could be charged. 
So the, uh, the February 15th, 2023 deadline also applies to quarterly estimated income tax payments due on January 17th, 2023, and the quarterly payroll and excise tax returns normally due on October 31st, 2022 and February 31st, 2023. Businesses with an original or extended due date also have the additional time, including, among others, calendar year corporations whose 2021 extensions run out on October 17th, 2022. Similarly, tax-exempt organizations also have the additional time, including the 2021 calendar year returns with extensions due to run out on November 15th, 2022. In addition, Penalties on payroll and excise tax deposits due after September 17, 2022 and before October 3rd, 2022 will be abated as long as the deposits were made by October 3rd, 2023. The IRS Disaster Relief page, there's a link to that here, once again has details on other returns, payments, and tax-related actions qualified for the additional time. So if we didn't mention what you're thinking about, it might be on that page. You can like check it out and see what uh, see what's there. The IRS automatically provides filing and penalty relief to any taxpayer with an IRS address of record located in the disaster area. So if your record is in the disaster area, they should be filing or making these updates in terms of the due dates automatically based on your address being in that area. Therefore. Taxpayers do not need to contact the agency to get this relief. However, if an affected taxpayer receives a late filing or late payment penalty notice from the IRS that has an original or extended filing payment or deposit due date falling within the postponement period, the taxpayer should call the number on the notice to have the penalty abated. In other words, if you get a, a penalty letter from the IRS and you're like, hey, wait a sec, I'm in the designated area and you applied a penalty that shouldn't have been applied because of this action that's taken place because of the hurricane Fiona just took us out over here, then you can call the letter on the IRS uh, letter or the number on the IRS letter and hopefully get then it abated or removed. In addition, the IRS will work with a taxpayer who lives outside the disaster area, but whose records necessary to meet a deadline occurring during the postponement period are located in the affected area. So in other words, you're saying I'm not in the area. The IRS cannot automatically apply this uh, extensions and whatnot uh, to me based on my address because I'm not in that area, but my records are in there and that's still affecting me. So in that case, you're gonna have to actually contact the IRS in some way, shape or form so that they know about the fact that you've been affected and possibly can give you some tax relief. So taxpayers qualified for a relief who live outside the disaster area need to contact the IRS at 866-562-5227. I won't say that 10 times because I'll have a link to this in the description. You can look it up there. This also includes workers assisting the relief activities who are affiliated with a, re a recognized government or philanthropic organization, individuals and businesses in a federally declared disaster area who suffered uninsured or unreimbursed disaster related losses can choose to claim them on either the return for the year the loss occurred in this instance the 2022 return normally filed next year or the return for the prior year 2021. <clears throat> So if the problem of course happened now in 2022, you might say, okay, well, I could include that in the year that it happened, which means you get you wouldn't actually be able to claim it or get a benefit from it until you file the tax return, which would happen, happen by like April 15th of 2023, generally. And you might have lower income in 2022 tax year as the result of the disaster and therefore the, the relief that you might get might not be going as far as it otherwise would. Your other option possibly is to claim it on the 2021, the prior year tax return, which was due on April 15th, but you might be on extension. So you might still have not have filed the 2021 tax return. If you did file it and you still wanna take it on the 2021 return, possibly you can look into amending the 2021 return. The benefits of that is that you might be able to claim for taxes, <clears throat> any kind of tax benefits you would get uh, earlier than waiting until April 15th of 2023 to file the 2022 return. And uh, you might've had more income in 2021 if you didn't have a disaster 
as opposed to 2022 when you did. And because we have a progressive tax system, if you have higher income, you can have higher taxes and therefore any kind of deduction will typically be better used on that higher income year. In any case, be sure to write the FEMA declaration number, which is DR3583EM. Again, I won't say that 10 times because I'll have a link to this in the description on any return claiming the loss. See publication 547 for details. There's a link to that here. The tax relief is part of a coordinated federal response to the damage caused by Hurricane Fiona and is based on local damage assessments by FEMA. For information on disaster recovery, you can visit disasterassistance.gov. There's a link to that as well as a link to the FEMA code, the publication, phone numbers are here and everything. And there'll be a link to this valuable information that I'm providing for free with that link in the description. So there you go.